Chess friends, how are you? Alpha 017 is a super chess player, I developed it by taking Leela Zero and Stockfish UCI copy in 2022, it is a self-developing engine, and it grow up by learning chess itself, today his ELO ratings above 4050, but can he defeat me in bullet chess? Let's see, I started with E4, Alpha played Sicilian defense, he have knight f6 d6, and he can play Grunford line, knight f3 knight f6 and I played e5 knight to d5 knight c3, if you take the knight then after pawn takes it will open up my queen's line, and the bishop line with an extra move, so e6 by alpha, knight e4 and alpha strikes it with f5, you may say, alpha makes his kingside weak, but there is a good strategy, to use the f file in long term, so knight f3 to offering knight exchange again. Alpha accepted knight exchange offer, d takes c3, bishop d7, bishop goes to f4, this bishop move plan is to move the pawn sincerely to the h file to create some attacking chances to the black king side, ok b6 pawn to h4 bishop, b7 and we have queen up to d3, this bishop and queen targets to the pawn on h4, so take the knight to unguard the pawn, but there will be no benefit on there, let me show you the variation, after takes queen takes bishop, the queen threatening to the rook so knight c6. We will play castle here and if you dare to take the free pawn then bishop b6 will make the knight a liability for you, there will be lot of pressure so rook c8 queen to h5 check which is a killer move with killer attitude, you will lose the bishop and the game, so back to the position, here alpha played knight to a6, his plan is to re-rotate the knight to get active is the center, where the knight potential power will be 100%, so I played castle knight, c7 c4, savage move, to end the knight dreams. Bishop c6, his new idea is to push the pawn rook b8 then b5 to open the queen side and attack to the king by opening up the files, knight d2 by me, castle bishop e2, my plan is to play bishop here to eliminate the bishop, then push the h pawn to create pressure on h pawn structure, rook b8 bishop f3, if you take the bishop, let me show you the variation, then knight takes bishop, b5 takes knight takes, queen takes d7 queen b6, black will sacrifice his bishop, but he have a nice tactics here, queen g5. My queen will be restricted, knight d4 will come, threatening to play queen takes b2 check, here best move is to take the knight and play as it is, game will be a draw, if you say, oh stockfish, let me play b3, it will hold the position, no fool, it will damage your structure, h6 queen g6 then knight e2 check, king b2 knight takes bishop, black will regain his bishop, knight e2 queen h3, and the savage move will come, c4, queen a5 is coming, your bodyguard will be confused and weak, position will be worse for you. So back to the position, we have queen e8 a3, rook to d8, his idea is to break the structure with d6, and open the d file for the rook, so I played h5, h6, he blocks the attack, rook h3. Rook a3 is a brilliant move, to pressure black in g file like this, center position is totally closed so rook can't be attacked by any bishops, further tactics is to take the pawn and trap the king, we have bishop takes f3 knight takes f3, knight a6 rook g1 king to h8, I strike the king side with g5, my plan is to open up the g file, after takes we have rook takes g4 and bishop takes a6 is coming, let me show you the variation, if black plays any normal move for example d6. To open up the file and create a discover attack to the queen, then bishop takes h6 will come, takes, rook g6, threatening to play this, if you take it simply and play pawn takes d5 then rook takes h6 will come, king here queen to h7 will be checkmate, so black will play rook f5, to block the queen diagonal, rook takes h6 king to g7 rook takes e6, the rook gets unguarded, and here best move for black is to play rook g5, rook g5 queen e3 queen f8 knight takes rook, bishop takes and after some moves later. Game will be in white's favor, black will lose his queen and the game, so back to the position, we have rook to f8, to protect the 7th rank, we will see queen e4, rook is coming to attack the pawn with full power, knight b8 rook to g4 knight c6, bishop e3, a6, b5 is coming to strike in the structure, so a4 rook c8, c3 to protect these squares from the knight, 
here Alpha Zero sacrificed his rook, he loves to sacrifice his pieces, no doubt and lose the game, rook takes f3 queen takes h5. Black removes all the pressure in kingside by sacrificing his rook, I played rook g1, inaccuracy move, it is a blitz game that's why I made a mistake, best was to play rook g3 to add pressure on this pawn, but I played rook g1 instead of playing rook g3, bishop f8 rook g3, and chess friends, if you want more alpha zero videos then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, rook g3 knight e7, queen goes to b7, to create troubles all the black pieces and army, we have queen e8 to hold it. Rook d1 knight c6, and after some more moves later, I decided to exchange the queens on this position. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.